Boo. stepping up to the mic and telling your fans how you got your start in animated cartoons? Well, uh, you see, uh, I like animated cartoons very much, and I always wanted to know how they make them. So, I came to Hollywood, and that's how I got into animated cartoons. Gosh, they need help! He's a monster. Think of what he could do on a scale range. Casper, how about a sample of your vocal strengths? Or perhaps a little boo? If you don't mind, I'll give out with a small hello. Hello! Wait a minute, Maxie. I felt a strange sensation on the trip here, too. I wonder... I guess it won't hurt trying. Here it goes. Give me some vocal support, Harry. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a clever costume. You almost look like a real ghost. Great, Kent. You set him up for it? Then we shocked it to him. Ah, <laughs> uh, you might turn into a pretty good ghost after all, Casper, baby. <laughs> I am a good ghost. I just think there's more to life than going around scaring people. Christmas party after all. Hey, don't you tie there? Come on in. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> hey, kiddo, I got something I gotta tell you. I'm sorry that I've I. I've got something to tell you, Harry Scary. I love you. Huh? Oh, stop. Oh, Dad said that's enough, but I couldn't stop. I was having so much fun. Got late. Got dark. Got cold. And I got sick. My dad got sad.
You guys lied to the ERS? And the penalty for lying is... you lose your place to haunt. You mean we'd have to leave Whipstaff? Forever or eternity, whichever comes first. Well, I'm not giving up Whipstaff without a fight. Are you guys with me? <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. I thought people only flew in dreams. That's it. I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> Phew. Wake up, Casper. Come on, snap out of it. <laughs> hey, mister. What's going on? What happened to me? Ah, scram, deadbeat. I'm in a grave mood. Sheesh, what's his problem? Um, where's his train going, lady? <laughs> the processing station. Now let me rest in peace. I just didn't know witches were so cute. Think so? Well, you're a ghost. I was always told ghosts were spooky and mean, you know? Most of us are, I guess. But not me. In fact, I'm friendly. My aunt said never trust what you can't see. But you can see me. And I certainly can see you. As soon as I improve my technique, I'll outswim Brad as easily as I took care of that other boy. Casper, go long! Oh, sorry about that, man. Are you dead? Yeah, whatever. I was gonna off myself on Tuesday anyway. Who are you? I'm you! The monster inside you that wants to make the fleshies run in fear! That's not what I want! You're not me! Maybe not yet, but I will be. You have no idea what it's like in there. Think of all the humans left to scare. Ooh, the delicious screams! I know who I am, and the ghost you want me to be. The ghost who scared Jimmy? That's not me. Are you ready for another incredible adventure? Yeah! Casper? Oh no, it's my mom. Oh my god, Casper! You've come back! You no, know, Mom, I came back to have fun adventures with my new friends, duh. New friends? Casper, I've been crying every day for the last two years. Why'd you have to play by the pool, Casper? Come on, guys, let's Whoa. ditch this wet blanket and play. Jasper, the douchebag ghost. Jasper, the douchebag ghost, the douchiest ghost possess. He'll call you names and act real mean until you feel depressed. He'll always say, you! Lick my sack, you fairy! He's so damn crude and so damn rude Just for the douchebag ghost! Gee, Casper, I wish we could play with you forever! You can! Jimmy, are you okay? I'm fine. What about my dad? Quick, give me your armor. Whoa! Stand aside, my liege. I'll protect thee. At last, a worthy opponent. <laughs> oh, Norman decided to use his first gift of seeing ghosts to figure out his second gift of seeing me. Why would Morgan Freeman appear to you? Why would he show up now? And why does every ghost sketch have to have Casper in it? Because people know who I am, Nimrod. I have a thought. Seriously, it's like a Wikipedia famous ghosts even. Ever notice that more and more celebrities are doing voiceover work? You mean like Nick Cage? Yeah, I guess you could use him as an example. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, Everything. Family everywhere should have the financial security they need.